Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are starting with one drug in just 3 minute series. Pharmacology is very dry and one of the difficult subject to remember. You cannot study pharmac for days, even if you study, it's hard to memorize. So I have created this series which is very easy and quick. But yes, you need to revise it again and again. First we'll start with antibiotics, in which we'll start with beta lactam group. So guys, any further ado, let's get started with penicillins. Penicillin contains beta-lactam ring in its structure. It is bactericidal. It acts by inhibiting the cell wall synthesis. Now what do we mean by this? Penicillins bind to specific receptors on bacterial cell membrane and inhibit transpeptidase enzyme. Remember this transpeptidase enzyme. This enzyme is responsible for the cross-linking of peptidoglycan chains. Bacteria like mycoplasma are intrinsically resistant to beta-lactam and vancomycin. Why? Because they don't have cell wall. Right? Here in the image you can see the transpeptidase enzyme which is essential for binding of two glycopeptide chains. In the presence of penicillin, this reaction cannot occur. Penicillin G. It is naturally occurring. It is not effective orally due to acid liability. Short duration of action. It has narrow spectrum. It can cause hypersensitivity reaction. Penicillins are most common drug responsible for anaphylactic shock. Intradermal skin testing is used to check allergy. It is Penicillin G is drug of choice for, remember this mnemonic last men, Leptospira, Actinomyces, Streptococcus and Staphylococcus infection, Trepanoma, Titanus and the infection is gas gangrene. These are the organism. Trepanoma is the organism, Syphilis and yours are the diseases, Meningococcus and Anthrax. Here you can easily remember it, last men. Acid resistant penicillins, which means we can take them orally. So, mnemonic for which is vodka. Acid resistance means we can take it orally. Penicillin V, oxacillin, dicloxacillin, cloxacillin, amoxicillin, and ampicillin. So, this is our mnemonic vodka. Longest acting penicillin is benzathan penicillin G. Extended spectrum penicillin, mnemonic for them is ACT map. So, ampicillin and amoxicillin, carbanicillin, ticarcillin, mazilocillin, azilocillin, and paparacillin. Apart from ampicillin and amoxicillin, these are anti pseudomonal penicillin as well. Penicillin is resistant penicillin. This is most commonly asked in exam, but first we need to know what is penicillinase, right? So penicillinase is nothing but an enzyme which is produced by bacteria and this enzyme opens the beta-lactam ring and inactivates the penicillin G and closely related congeners. Bacteria producing penicillinase are majority of the staphylococci and some strains of gonococci. E. coli and influenza. So penicillinase resistant penicillins which are it mnemonic for which is condom. Cloxicillin, oxicillin, nephcicillin, dicloxicillin, methicillin. Anti-pseudomonal penicillins as I said they are same as extended spectrum Penicillins just excluding the ampicillin and amoxicillin. So it is carbanicillin, ticacillin, mesilocillin, azilocillin and paparacillin. Toxicity. Hypersensitivity is the most common. If patient develops hypersensitivity reaction to penicillin, all other beta-lactam antibiotics are contraindicated except estrionam. Estrionam is a monobactam. Ampicillin causes maculopapular rash and diarrhea because it is incompletely absorbed and causes more suppression of normal microbial flora. Methicillin is most common antibiotic causing interstitial nephritis. Oxicillin can cause hepatitis. Nephcicillin involved in causing neutropenia. Here remember N with N. 
so guys this was it hope it was useful please like the video hit the thumbs up and do subscribe my channel